we go. I tried to time it up. Hey, stoners, welcome. Welcome back <laughs> to another episode of I'm Too Up and High. I'm your high host, James Mastriani. Super excited <laughs> for this great show we have today. Um, if this is your first time viewing in or, or if you've watched the show before and you've been high and maybe you forgot what the show was, that's understandable. Sometimes I forget what this show is. Um, this is the show where we get comedians high on cannabis and have them do comedic challenges to prove that marijuana makes everything funnier. Um, and this is a show we've been doing for years. Uh, it's a podcast. Um, and it's also a live show during quarantine. We've been doing live streams like this on, on our YouTube page and, and Instagram. Um, and we do new live streams every Tuesday and Friday at 6 p.m. So uh, if you ever want information on that, just check out i 2 fnhighcom or our Instagram or Twitter at i 2 fnhigh And you can always find out info about our next guests or next live streams, all that sort of stuff. Um, guys, I'm super high. Um, I know we've got two very high, very funny comedians. They're, they're chopping at the bit to do some challenges, but first we got to meet, uh, my right hand man, my high co-host, DJ Blue Dream. Hold up. Smoke weed every day. Smoke Smoke weed every day. What's happening, James? What's happening to our viewers on YouTube? If this What's is your up, first buddy? time watching our show, <laughs> let us know. Let us know in the comments. Um, welcome. Welcome. Welcome to the party. <coughs> How you I'm, doing, uh, DJ Blue Dream? How you, are you I'm good, high? man. I'm, I'm pretty high. I, I, I started my <coughs> afternoon off. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> With um, just smoking weed. Yep, yep, yep. It's uh, it's it's been like a few hours since I took a couple of edibles, um, and then I took another one an hour ago. So I've just been cruising on a nice edible high. I feel good. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I'm so excited about this episode. I'm a fan of these two dudes. Yeah, me too. They uh, they both been on the uh, on the show before together uh, on the podcast before. I'm really excited to have them back. Um, let's go ahead and welcome them. Uh, please welcome to the virtual stage, Mike Castle and Joey Greer. Stop and hit the ball like teaching John. The sale takes from here to Hong Kong. Oh, man. Oh. ASMR for hit. coughing. That was a giant hit. Good oh. for you. Hello, Welcome gentlemen. <clears throat> hello, hello. How are you guys? It's absolutely blessed to see you both. Yeah, you too. You too. You guys are in your, uh, <clears throat> I see your quarantine garbs, I guess. Uniforms. Uh -huh. yeah. Uniforms, Uniforms, baby. Quarantine uniform, noticed. baby. And you refer to me as staff sergeant. I'm a staff sergeant. You refer <laughs> You're a staff sergeant. It's interesting. I notice you're quarantining in, a, in an under construction <laughs> casino right now. Yes, I am. Yeah. I've repurposed this. All right, I've repurposed this facility. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting story. When he and I entered the seminary, we were put in reserves, and they said only in the event of something like a biblical plague do you guys re-enter our ranks. <clears throat> so we've recently reactivated as priests in the service. I'm a lieutenant commander. In the <laughs> I'm a staff <laughs> sergeant. Is, lieutenant, is a lieutenant commander a real thing in the military? I mean, I'm not questioning. I don't, I'm not a military like, guy. I'm a priest guy. So yeah, I know what religious gotcha. order it is. Yeah. <laughs> Great. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Yeah. Um, Pleasure to be here. Guys. Why don't we? Yeah, um, it's great to be here. I was just giving a sermon and I stepped out. <laughs> One, it's one uh, of our all-time favorite too. pastimes. Really? One of my favorite sermons is the Magic Hour sermon, right at the, the cusp of, of, of day, daylight and dusk. And I love yeah, it. you go. Uh, you say, everyone, look up at the sky. Try not to sneeze. Amen. <laughs> and, yeah, it's a beautiful prayer. It's one of my favorites as well, Drew. I'm glad you know it. Top 10, if you ask me. Traditional. Traditional. 
Yeah, Top three, if you ask me. It's the only commandment I give a shit about. It's the only thing I know. <laughs> um, DJ Blue Dream, before before we get started, would you like to lead us in a um, in a traditional uh, top of the show toke with our yes, with our I guests would. as well as yes. our viewers? Uh, I get the, it. Uh, your favorite ritual of the I'm Too Up and High live stream. Please join us if you'd like, viewers. Grab your piece, your bong, your vape. Joey, the your... guy in your screen isn't doing it. <laughs> Joey, your guy. Okay. <laughs> uh, and let's uh, let's all do the beautiful simultaneous toke. Here we go. Hmm. Oh yeah. It feels nice to know other people <laughs> are getting high at the exact same moment you are. Damn, James, that that weed is making you fully disappear. It's incredible. Oh. Did its job. It did its job. I've disappeared from the earth. Good night, Finally. sir. <laughs> uh, so, how high are you guys right now on a scale of one to ten? Where are you guys at? I'm pretty good. I'm I'm probably like at a five. I haven't smoked weed in maybe six months. Whoa. And you're you're so, still high on a five from that? Yeah. I wouldn't say that that's the classic <laughs> misjudgment of someone who hasn't smoked weed in a while, where he thinks he's at a five. He's like, I'm on the level. I'm totally chill. I'm having fun with my friends. But in reality, <laughs> he's at a 10. And in like one minute from now, he's going to be like, I look like Absolutely. a wet rat. Everyone thinks I look like a wet rat. There's no way you're only a five right now. Because if you haven't smoked weed for five chance. months. Yeah. Buddy, you've, you have been... You've been you've been anxiously combing your hair so hard it's now been ripped out of your scalp. That's how high you are. You're at least an eight. You literally are the guy in your backdrop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. uh, I would say I'm at a holy trinity ten out of ten. Wow. Wow. Nine it. nine out of nine, my man. Nine out of nine. <laughs> no. My ten is divisible by three, that's why it's holy. Oh, Hello, I like dude. That. Whatever, yeah. dude. Christianity and math, they go right hand in hand, yeah. right? Christianity and math means you make up any equation you want, but it can't make sense. So if, there, <laughs> if it logically makes sense, then it is not considered, it's not holy. You, you know the solution already. You just have to figure out what can equal what it is you want it to equal to begin uh -huh. with so that it makes exactly. sense for you. That shouldn't be correct. The math right. should not work out correctly. 10 is divisible right. by 3. <laughs> Always. It's only true. It's correct <laughs> only in this kind of map. You understand. Yeah. But anyway, um, God bless you. So excited. So excited that you guys are here. We're going to have some fun here. We've got some really fun comedic challenges for you guys. Um, and uh, we're going to we're gonna jump into this segment I don't like that challenges here. word. I got to tell you right away. I don't like that challenges word. We like That's trials correct. and tribulations. <laughs> okay. Yeah, We've we got some comedic... We got some comedic trials and tribulations for you guys here. Yeah, um, very we'll difficult. make sure to stoner show. <laughs> we got to change our posters now, DJ Blue Dream. Yeah. Um, Sorry, boys, but more... it's worth the extra work. <laughs> <laughs> Hate to be the one to tell you, gentlemen, but. <laughs> but it's just, it is what it is. That's just how we're doing it from now on. <laughs> uh, man, I love it. Um, Let's jump into this first segment here. This segment is called the hypothetical situation. Hypothetical situation. Uh, and so the hypothetical situation is basically you guys are high and I'm going to give you a hypothetical situation and you guys are going to act that hypothetical situation out. Um, and so, uh, the theme for this, and actually the theme for this whole episode, we decided to have a little bit of fun to make this whole episode themed this, uh, is brothers. Uh, brothers is the theme. Um, okay. and, uh, so do you, are you guys brothers? Not you to each other, but do you have siblings? Wouldn't you say are that you everyone in some brothers? way, everyone in some what? way, someone's brother. I consider uh, myself a Christian brother and the brother of man. <laughs> How's that for a straight answer? Okay, great. Great. No, no, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's a good that answer. one. 
forgive you. Yeah. Okay, so we'll um, never know. We'll never know if they, if they have brothers. We'll never okay. know. We'll never know. If no, the answer is yes. We're both brothers. <laughs> and brothers of man. And brothers of man. So you'll know. So you know. Now that's the answer. And so anyone can write it down. Just Everyone. stop answering the question, dude, okay? Stop answering <laughs> oh, okay. the question. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's just move along then, I guess. Let's just move on. <laughs> Let's just move on. I the forgive more you, answers I have. and I forgive my outburst. Amen. Yes, I forgive your outburst, too. And I forgive jumping in. I forgive too. I forgive both of you guys Bless for completely, you. for completely throwing this show off. Uh, I forgive both of you guys. No, I, and I appreciate that. Count. It doesn't count when it comes for me. You can't forgive a priest. Yeah. <laughs> only I can do that. I forgive a priest. I, only the I can do that. The show is supposed to be so tight and so perfect. <laughs> and here you guys well, come forget, in with your forget, your you know? energy and your chaos. Look, if I can just take a sidebar for a moment before we continue, all right? Goddamn second. <laughs> all right, if I can just have an opportunity to speak quiet down while we're... the casino, I can hear the ding. Hey, quiet down back there. I'm trying to talk. <laughs> if there's any way, we're already on the side of the road. Pop open the trunk. Let's get at the sandwiches we made earlier. Let's chow down on them. Let's have yeah. a little powwow, okay? So you're kind of you know, saying let's have as many asides right now as possible before we get to the main event. What I'm saying is... <laughs> We already got a new tire on the car. Yeah. My hands are full of oil. Your hands are full of soot. We're looking at each other right. going, dang, I'd like a brew. I can't drink and drive. Not only is that illegal, that's fucking wrong. But you know what I can do? I can go <laughs> back to the... Repairing. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I can go back to the car, pop that back fender out, make it smooth the way I bought it, right? Put those right, stickers yeah. at Disneyland. Restore right it to the old day, the AD, baby. Listen. <laughs> so if I can, I'd like to give it back to you, James. <laughs> all right great thank you for that segment uh joey that was great um you guys all all know that segment where uh joey just goes on a stream of consciousness rants um and it was great it was wonderful father faulkner <laughs> um so for this first uh hypothetical situation you guys are gonna do both of these together um you guys are both biological brothers and you're also both Catholic monks. So this kind of works out completely unrelated uh, oh, that yeah. you guys are wearing this, which is really funny. Uh, and you grew up very competitive. And so your situation is you are leading a morning prayer together and you're having a hard time keeping your competitive juices, uh, holding them down. Does that make sense? Yeah, I yes, forget that for sure. Great, great. <laughs> uh, Mike and Joey, here we go. I uh, want to give a big thank you to little uh, Danny Dananian. He is, uh, give me a round of applause. Okay thank you very clap. much. It's okay to clap because there are, some people put restrictions on themselves when it comes to making noises. That's something that I wanted to talk about today, absolutely. When Which we will get to. We will get to. The option. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Interruptions. So get- Sometimes you got to give in to them. Sometimes you got to almost give in and move past it. That's something I wanted to talk about with in, t- in terms of conflicts in our families. You can go ahead and raise your hand if you have a conflict with your family. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, no, I didn't want the example. <laughs> I, I understand. And that's kind of the point, though, because we don't want examples. If we think about what an example is, it's only going to be something that's going to make us not be the thing that we want to be. So if we For understand. Example. No, you go ahead. Exactly. I know <laughs> that. But what I don't know. Do you guys ever you're trying to find the words, but they're just not coming to you. <laughs> now, we're, I, I, we said this last week, but I want to reiterate again this week. We are trying to make our sermons a little bit more like spicy, a little spicier, huh? So we really want to kick up the notch. Thank you. Thank you, Father. We really want to kick up the notch. We want to make it an infomercial because we want everyone here to know that not only, hey, let me tell you something. If God wants to sell you something, you better open up your pockets and you better let him in because he is the only one who has an answer to you. Yes. Let's go ahead and take a question. Let's also do, yeah, let's do some Q&As. Let's do some Q&As. Yeah, right now? Actually, we're going for now. My, go my question is more of a request for Father Joey. Uh, yeah. Could you could you keep it down a little? Because there's a full sermon going on behind you towards the other side of the room. Right. Okay. 
So. Great. We're just, it's okay. a little loud for us here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's all good. Yeah. It's so, all good. I think it's all right for all sermons to become one. If, if right. you can hear my voice right now, you got you're in my sermon. So even if there's another and if you can hear there, my voice, <laughs> if you can hear my voice, up there, you have then to you're in my hands. sermon. If you put your hands on your ears, everybody you put sick. your hands on your ears. You are everybody put your hands on. on your ears. <laughs> Father, can I talk to you for a second? Here. Father, can I talk to you for a second? Okay. Yeah, uh, for a second. Hey, uh, uh, hey, hey, Mass. Oh, hold on. Idiots. Idiots. Oh, hold on a second. Hey, Mass, why don't we take a five, okay? Let him go. Let them Mass. go. Look at me. Mass, Look at me. Let's take a Let five. Hey, don't Let touch me. Go. Don't touch me. Don't touch no, me. No, Mass, hey. Come here. Ma- go, 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 go. Listen. Go. Listen to me. Listen. Hey, you got a little carried away. Hey, hey, hey. Halt there. Halt there. It is I, the Alpha, the Omega, the Almighty. Can I get some entrance music, please, DJ Blue Dream? In one yes. second, God. In one second, God. If no, everybody no. could just Girl, take a second. Girl, if everybody could... second. I'm God. Thank you very much for that. I didn't need it, but let's God just give me one second, and we will no, go. That was for, that was you let God go, God. I'm letting you go, God. I want you to notice I am not interrupting. All right, I'm letting God go, and the reason you let God go, if you consider what God is. And who he wants to be, you gotta understand. You want God. You want God. You want you want God to go first. So with that, I introduce God. God, can you hold on one second? Listen, I think (laughs) my mother on the floor. I, I. That's it. That's it. That was brilliant. That was great, you guys. That was great. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, really fun. Seems like perfect, perfect setup for you guys. You're wearing uh, priest outfits. Uh, it's unbelievable. Easy for you guys to play competitive with each other. It's perfect. perfect. You know, you can go into any 7-Eleven or any kind of, like, a gas station, any place that sells cookies, milk. If you... <laughs> If you go into any like any store where there's <laughs> go on. <laughs> if you go no, into any good, store that's that... a good point. <laughs> if you go into <laughs> it, it, He's only at in... five, everybody. He's only at a five. <laughs> if you <laughs> if you go into a store. Okay, let's say they're selling cold pizza, warm pizza. Uh, they're selling uh, hats with cities that you're not in. Uh, you're if, not if you, in. yeah, if, you're, if they're selling hats, you know, you're in Cincinnati, they got hats that say Los Angeles, Vancouver. Yeah. You're like, why? Yeah. Why do they do that? You can think, think about that for a second. That's think fun. about that. Like you know, what I'm <laughs> no, it is. It, it time out. It is okay. And I, and I, hold no, on. Come what here. Do you do? Commissioner, I, places you can want to represent. Commissioner, I'm not I have you are there. Commissioner, I have two minutes <laughs> to speak. <laughs> commissioner, I have been allotted oh, I two it. minutes. I will use those two minutes, Commissioner. You've gone on for five minutes. <laughs> we hey, got you in your seat for no reason other than who your father is. Okay. I feel like that was just an episode of Franklin and Bash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, let's do this other hypothetical situation, you guys. So with this situation, you are the Brothers Ogrim from Ireland. And uh, you have decided to put an Irish twist on all of the Brothers Grimm fairy tales. Uh, <laughs> and we, um, we're, we'll be the hosts of a, a BBC radio show. That's the, the BBC Literary Hour, bringing you on to share some of those twists yeah. uh, with our audience. And we'll ask you, to, uh, we'll ask you questions about it uh, and such. Make sense? Yeah, man. Yes. It, makes, it makes almost too much sense to me. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. 
Perfect. Uh, DJ Blue Dream Team. Oh, nice. Welcome to BBC Radio 4 Literary Hour on the Hour, where we discuss the Britain, the Britons, <laughs> most famous authors and poets of the Britain, as well as of the surrounding the continent. With me, as always, is my host, Professor of Literature at the Cambridge Trinity College. Professor <laughs> James, the man, Mastriani. Good morrow, everyone. Good morrow. Today we will be, thank you. Today we will be studying the works of one Brothers Grimm fairy tales. But we have two very special guests here today. Two young men from Ireland. We all know Ireland. They're very close to where we're at here in England. So we all know that area very well. Yes, and they my are... favorite thing to do at the top of the BBC radio show that we do is when we remind the listeners <laughs> that we are in England. And yes. it's close to Ireland. It's also close to Scotland. And Wales. Yes. Wales, people. It's funny because people forget Wales sometimes, I think. Yes. Yeah. Well, we have culture. the... That's right. That's right. I actually have some Welsh relatives. It takes a lot of phlegm to pronounce a lot of the names in Wales. Nah. I've never Hi, seen one in real life, a Welsh person, but... Um... They're not fictional. We're not going to go into this debate again, James. They're yeah. not fictional. Let's move on. I've never seen them or their wings or their wings on their backs. That's not... <laughs> All right, please welcome the venerated and esteemed Brothers O'Grim. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much for letting us on. Thank you for having us. Can I, can I say this first, uh, Mr. Man Manstriani, that um, I really appreciate right. you talking about how much we know Ireland. We get it, we understand it. It's an idea and it's a place and that there's people there okay. and all that. A lot of people think that Ireland... A lot of people think that Ireland is below Spain. Sorry, that's all that's, I was going to say. No, but that's Portugal. Yeah. Portugal is below Spain. <laughs> so that's uh, something to be <laughs> mindful of. You know, England is also close to France and <laughs> a lot of parts of Europe. So. To me, it does not so much matter if you know where a place is, so long as you just know you can't say anything about it. Right, exactly ah. that. It's not that it's oh. so even how to say things in it, but just the Ireland is a place on the back. No right. room before that. No room before that. Right. So the do idea you, is it's, oh yeah, go for it. Just do you want to accept the chocolate covered strawberry? Just say you want to accept it. Somebody's waiting to serve you chocolate covered oh, strawberry. Oh, look at that. I'll definitely take one. <laughs> <laughs> you should receive it in your mouth or yes. you're trying to put please. it in your mouth. Please. It's making please. me so uncomfortable. Will you please accept it? <laughs> They've been holding it there. Their arms must be so tired. Please just, just one take moment. it from their hands. Before I accept this thing, I just want to say to little people to come in here and love it and me these strawberries corn control here. I say this. I say this from the bottom of my heart. Here. I love it. I love it. The idea of England so that every gentleman's come town. That's the salad that is. And one of the things that they say that that'll be so far. It's a no one on to come on. And if they know that like that, then let it be that, because it's only we that there. Thank you very much. Amen. Mm. Ah. Well, uh. I, let's pivot to the stories. Now, I have a copy <laughs> of the book here that you've written. <laughs> it's a... Uh, oh, yes, that's beautiful. a heavy book. It's a heavy book. Beautiful. You can barely see. <laughs> it's near invisible. Yes, it's beautiful. Uh, let's look. Let's see. You have a... Um, we just take... go with the glass pages and the glass <laughs> cover because we thought it would just look a little more fancy. If you took out etched in glass when you read it, you don't see it at all. So you got to really focus. <laughs> and oh. the problem is, is people always say this so What's the worst thing to happen when I read a book? Paper cut. Paper cut's the worst thing to happen. It's me glass. The well, thing everyone is... knows there's uh... good luck in cutting your finger on glass. <laughs> 
Well, legend has it. Legend has it in Ireland. Say Pat. Irish legend says, cutting your finger on glass gives you 2,000 years of good luck. 2,000 well, years? Speaking of, years, speaking of cutting your fingers on glass, you know, that, that does remind me of uh, the famous mirror breaking in an old Grimm's tale that you have rewritten here. So tell us about, uh, I think it's the Grimm's originally, but tell us about Snow White. Before we say anything about any of the stories, I think it's very important for us to let you know, neither of us read any of the Grimm's original tales. Can't be more clear. About this book. We thought to have a really Irish take on it, we would just go from memory from if someone read it to us or if we had heard it, someone talked about it. So a lot of the references are, are almost invisible. That you go, uh, think about this the idea of the brother's grim <clears throat> made all these stories, huh? But then we uh, see we go someone there, something a little different. Now, let me ask you this question um, you know, in the original Snow White story, Snow White had seven dwarves, yeah. My question to you is, do you think those dwarves were supposed to be Welsh? I don't know. Uh, I don't try to start and read it. Uh, but if you're asking me if the people on Wales have wings and are able to see through objects, yeah, I believe that. Okay, uh, come on. <laughs> I believe that. Remember that in our reconception of that, uh, that classic tale, we made, instead of dwarves, it, it was... Cans of jelly. You remember this? Oh, oh yeah. Like cranberry jelly from a can instead of the dwarfs. Because and you're so, thinking, oh. yeah, it's part of it is when you're writing something. And this goes out to all the, the people, young people thing, and all those young people that came in here holding strawberries, eh? All those people that are looking at you get that. They had the fear anyone in their eyes. Admirers, anyone who's trying to learn from us, come on. Anyone, anyone doing that? Remember, write what you know. More importantly, right what's around you. Don't I see no drawers oh. around there, but what I do see, cans of jelly. <laughs> cans, cans of jelly. Almost oh. everywhere you look, there's a can of jelly. And it's just familiar. It's familiar imagery, frankly. Too much jelly on the marrow, too much jelly on the sea. <laughs> Too much jelly on the hilltop, oh, too much well, jelly. Well, that is the song that will take us out today for this episode of BBC's English Literature. Although today was specifically Irishman, <laughs> which is near England, not too far away. Uh, thank you so much to the Brothers Oak Rim, and thank, thank you. you again for tuning in. Pleasure, pleasure. Thank you for having us. <laughs> That's the hypothetical situation. Oh, man. <clears throat> oh, that was fun. Just derailed immediately. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Somebody's not social distancing. Uh-oh. Come on, everybody. Uh-oh. Come on, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Topless baptisms over here. <laughs> <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> um, so I'm looking in on the comments. Uh, welcome, Mary Bonnie, who's watching it. Says y'all are the best. That's really nice. Um, hey, Mary. Oh, hey, Mary. Uh, us. Mary. So our viewers, tell us, including Mary, tell us how high you are uh, out of ten. I want to see if anyone's higher than than Mike uh, thinks he is at ten right now. Yeah. Holy Trinity. <laughs> Holy Trinity. I'm um, good. I think I'm good. I don't. I don't know. If, I think I'm good. Well, then, if you're good, then we're now going to do this next segment. Um, and uh, this segment is called Stoned Game Show. Stone Game Show. <laughs> nice. That's great. You know what um, I think we should do too. I think we should we should invite the audience to play along and see if they can answer any of these. You guys aren't looking Ooh, at I that page, that. right? So you won't no. be you won't be on time. But I want to see. Don't know how. Don't know how. Don't know how. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, no one tell Mike, please. Um, <laughs> and then let's uh, let's see let's see let's see who gets it. 
Yeah, I like that. I like that. So um, I'm going to go straight into a game show here, you guys. I'll describe uh, the rules of the game show as we go through this. Um, and you guys are going to compete. Um, and and you will get, uh, well, 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 we'll talk about it when, once we get into it. Cool? So um, we're, agreeing to, we're agreeing to play a game for prizes we don't know yet. <laughs> correct. Prizes and penalties. That's oh, Jesus. Right. Yeah. Tribulation right. and trials. Uh, so, uh, DJ Blue Dream, can you hit me with a little bit of uh, yes, sir, intro yeah. music here, my man? Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I don't know. Dude, please keep it down for my. Uh... <laughs> Another episode of America's favorite game show. Name the other brother. Brother. That's right. This is the game show where we give you the names of some famous brothers, and you have to see if you can name the other brother correctly and what brother tandem they're a part of. Um, we've got two very special guests tonight. Uh, do both are very high comedians right now. Uh, please welcome Joey Greer and Mike Castle. Ooh, hello. <laughs> and of hello, course, hello. For, for the first time in I'm Too Up and High history, the audience will be competing as well. Oh my God. Right in the chat. And that's my co-host, DJ Blue Dream. That's right. Uh, and we... I just want to say, first off, I I do not agree with the decision to allow the audience to play. That is not what I signed up for, and I am specifically <laughs> against them. If I can okay. jump on that, too, if I can just jump on the door that Mike has just kicked open with okay. a hard, yeah. swift horse kick. I think the idea of bringing the audience in is a threat to us. Yep. Okay? Yep. Yes, what the... I agree. Because you, because well, it's like saying, like we don't know, we're not going to know the answer. That's right. <laughs> you know? No, it's true. It's also, uh, I don't know if you guys saw it, but in that email we sent before that you guys signed, you did agree to Venmo any members of the audience who get the answers uh, before you do. Yeah, that's no, right. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. That's correct. No. Oh, one hundred percent correct. That makes sense to me. That's yeah. right. But I don't like um, the premise that led to that. Okay. Okay. Well. Are you still going to do the game show? Of course I'm going to do it. I, <laughs> yes. I, 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 what? <laughs> yes. Uh, okay, great. Am I yes. Let me know. This is for the, <clears throat> the whoever wins this game show. The top prize is you get your own building. Oh, give that. me that building. Yeah. Yes. Now, we don't, we don't know what kind of building it is. We don't know if it's a big one or a small Here. one or what it's city it's located, house. but... The winner will get a building of some sort after the end of this. Awesome. this Buildings show. will outlive us all. Go on. That's right. Buildings. I'm going to get a building. Joey, you're okay. first. Now, Mike, if Joey doesn't get this, you can always uh, gain points uh, by okay. taking it away from him. But he has 30 seconds. Okay. Name the other brother, Greg, Peter, and hmm. 30 seconds. After 15 Four. seconds, we can give you, you the last name. We're after 20 seconds or so. Yeah. Okay. So after 20 seconds, you're going to be the first and last name? <laughs> Just the last name. Yeah. Just okay. the last name, yeah. Now, those two names, again, were <laughs> Greg and Peter. And these are famous brothers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know those names. Or maybe we'll just those... give you a hint. We'll give you a hint. Let's see. 15 <clears throat> seconds. And then when, when does I jump in? After his time goes up, you can and jump when... in and take it. When does my time start? <laughs> it, you've, already, you've already down to like five seconds. Okay. Here's a hint. Uh, Fic fictional. Sasha. Final answer. Lock it in. <laughs> Locked in. Sasha is in incorrect. Mike for 25 points. I want to say we're going with Brady's. Yeah. And it's that is correct. Bobby. 
Very good for 25 points. (laughs) He had a lot of help for me. Yeah, once once we got Sasha out of there, I was like, all right, now I (laughs) DJ Blue Dream with our next challenge. Okay, so for your next name, the other brother challenge. Um, This is for Mike, yeah? Um, Here we go. Don... Eric and thirty seconds on the clock. It's a Trump, so it's a, it's a little Trump, Mike. The Baron. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah, it's correct. Baron, Fuck. Baron Trump. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Fuck man. Had you not just help me, man, I would not have gotten that. Joey, you just uh, you. You, you just helped him. That's a good man. All right. This you fucking Mike's sucks. At 50? <laughs> We're at fifty zero, if I'm not wrong. Oh, no. But I'm not sure what point scoring system we're using. So no, that's correct. That was for okay. yeah, twenty five points. Now twenty five more <laughs> points, Joey. It's back to you. Name the other brother, Daniel, William, Stephen, and thirty seconds. Hmm. <laughs> Daniel, William, Stephen, Stephen, and and they're all in a band. Is that what the question is? <laughs> no, that's also nope. It's we have to know when does his time start. As soon as I say you have thirty seconds. When did you say that already? Or no. Yeah, I said that right at the very end of the question. Well, how much? To, okay. Well, how much time is so You have like fifteen. You have like fifteen seconds. Daniel, <laughs> right. William, Stephen, Stephen, and okay. Repeating them doesn't help. Uh, let's see. Uh, they're they're a band. You said. <laughs> you okay. Kept saying uh, band. You repeatedly said band. You're on okay, the right track. Tr- 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 Troger. Troger. <laughs> Troger is. Troger. No. Troger is not a name, I don't think, at least not traditionally. Um, yeah. And these are all very traditional names, so that really would be an outlier. Uh, Mike, you have 30 seconds. Okay. Daniel, um, William, Stephen, and name the other brother. Daniel, William, <laughs> Stephen. Oh, Just to poison the well a little more i will have you know that an audience member has gotten it oh, well, they, you know oh that's this is me off you know what all, right, all, right, all right all right i'm locking in final answer troger <laughs> troger is absolutely incorrect it was incorrect when joey said it is that what you said i don't remember yeah. i didn't hear yours <laughs> The correct Dude, answer. The correct answer is Alec. They are the Baldwin brothers. Of course, mm-hmm. of course. Baldwin brothers, mm-hmm. probably the I most mean, famous brothers that ever existed. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. Billy Baldwin. Yeah. yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Stroger. Okay, All right. we'll go to Mike. Um, here we go. I feel like okay. Okay. he just went. <laughs> No, he you you had that one. <laughs> okay, now that was yours first. Before, yeah. you sure? Are you sure? Because like he just went. No, I sorry. Feel like they just Joey, went. you it does you. Feel unfair. No, no offense, Joey, but you've completely you've hurt your chances every time. Uh, you're 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 self destructing on national television. I don't uh, I don't have to win again to win. You know what I'm saying, Joe? Nope. Like it's I can just call it. I can phone yep. it in now. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, All right, Mike, DJ Blue your Dream. brothers are Michael, Jermaine, and Tito Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Any guesses, Mike? <laughs> I mean, I feel like we got to give like a bonus point or something. 
That's right. We're going to give a bonus point. Mike, if you get this, you're going to get an additional 25 <laughs> points. So this is for 50 points. <laughs> Just for you, buddy. Oh. This would take you up to a hundred points to nothing. Oh, oh my God, what a deficit! Proto final answer. <laughs> What'd you say? Troder. I don't know why you would say that, Mike. I don't know why. I mean, Joey really, literally, just gave you the answer. That Didn't is incorrect, Joey. Joey, you now can steal this. You have thirty seconds. I know. What's it. the answer? Yeah. Troder. Troder. No, no. You said it before. You said it before. <laughs> the same thing you said before. Troder. Tr- <laughs> Not that thing. Troder's my answer. Troder's my answer. Lock it in 100%. You know, you know what? I'm giving you 50 points because you did say it earlier. So I'm oh, giving fuck you 50 you. points. Fuck no, you fuck for giving you. me 50 points. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. You know what? You get 75 points. You oh, God, dude. Oh, oh, suck my ass. Rigged. <laughs> Fucking yeah. rigged! Are you kidding me? You said seventy. Are you fucking kidding me right now? All right, we're going directly to the final round. Final round, mm-hmm. bonus round. I can't believe okay. This. Either one of you, you can answer this. Either one of you can answer this. This is this is going to be the lightning round. <sighs> okay. Okay. I'm just going to give you a bunch here, and you have. I need a building, ten- baby. I'm daddy needs a building. Okay, here we go, Joey. This one's for you. Groucho, Harpo, Chico, name the other brother. Uzo. Uh, no, it's Joey's turn. Mike, go That's- for it. <laughs> <laughs> Ozo. No, that is incorrect, Mike. That's it's not Ozo. It's not Ozo. Uh, Groucho, Harpo. Harpo, Chico. No, said that one. It's like a think of a lighter. Like a Zippo. Zappo. You're close. Pretty really close. close. One vowel away. With an E instead. Uh, 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 I forfeit that one. Okay, great. Perfect. Um, Let's go to the, uh, go all to right. the next uh, one. Uh, Joseph, John, Robert, and... What's the question? <laughs> Name the other brother. <laughs> Name the other brother. Joseph, John, Robert, and... Theodore. Nope, in the uh, chipmunks. Oh, actually, that's correct, isn't it? Kind of. I think that might be the full name. That actually counts. That actually counts. It's yeah. Ted, so you that actually me. counts. Theodore, We're talking about job. the Kennedys. Yeah, the Kennedy brothers. <laughs> Oops, the Daisy. Freak- Oops, the Daisy. <laughs> All right. Final one here, guys. Fredo, Michael, Sonny, and... Cher, our final answer. It's not Cher. That's, that's not a brother. I'm going to back his play. Share? <laughs> you can't. That's not a part of the rules. We don't yeah. back plays. Okay, okay. The let's see. The answer is Tom. Who is this? Huh? Tom Alex. The That's Alex. Still a brother. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, congratulations, Joey. You win. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't think that's right. I don't you get a it. building. You get a building. I don't think that's morally right. I think there's Man. a chance that the the audience might have taken this one. I think Mary oh. and uh, Kayla answered more correctly. There's no, well, there's just no way. There's literally you don't know. no way. There's no proof. Well, well, you guys got to Venmo them $27 a piece. Okay, 27 you said? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I need to get my it. funds in order. <laughs> yeah, if you don't mind. Let me just get some things in order. I'm going to need to liquidate some assets before I'm able to expunge that cash to you. It won't be quick, but it will last, okay? It won't be quick, but it's forever. The sword in the stone is based on a real story. Both of you guys look like crazy Fox News correspondents. Yeah. Listen, Uh, if you you think the virus is so bad, then why don't you come over here and cough with my open eyes, okay? I mean, I'm walking by people all the, all the time. We're drinking Mai Tais. People are coughing into each other's eyes, and I'm fine, okay? I, I haven't felt my back in a long time. Uh, I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine, okay? Yeah, yeah, you look fine. You look great. Um, great job, guys. That was, uh, that was Stone's game show. Um, before we do this, uh, this last segment here, this last comedic challenge, let's just check in with DJ Blue Dream. 
for DJ Blue Dreams Good Vibes Minute. I'm picking up good vibrations. Good vibes. She's giving me the excitation. Not the bad vibes. Good vibes. Bad vibes. Get out of here. DJ Blue Dreams Good Vibes Minute. Okay, so this is where I will share something that hopefully gives you good vibes at this point. If you want to smoke along again, please, please join in. Um, This is so silly, but I found this thing on the internet that's a a random meme generator, and it's almost like a Dada-ish art project, the more you use it when you're stoned. Because a lot of the memes kind of make sense, but not exactly. So I'm going to pull it up on my screen. I think that works. Andrew, let me know if not, but I'm going to pull it up. Um, and you guys just, just need different <coughs> meme templates to click on. Oops. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Looking at ourselves. Trippy. Okay. Here we go. Like, here's a random one that just wow. generated. This. Right? Like, you just click a... <laughs> it says predicting meme. <laughs> and, uh, when you realize like, that your mom is a girl it's very funny <laughs> it kind of makes sense but not oh, wow that's incredible yeah. can you click the one with sean bean right here right yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay oh, yeah, wow. all right this is amazing what's up with that kinda, cat or like this these is guys amazing are these are really good <laughs> oh my god wow oh i guess yeah, this, yeah they're all like yeah i guess huh? what was the that? monster the boys the Steelers. let me get chappelle um Fortnite, <laughs> minecraft minecraft <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay it's real that one's great yeah. which one did you say before joey uh that cat yeah, right out to the left of that old lady. There oh, you go, that Tom, like. Oh yeah, yeah, whatever that. Tom looking cat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so when you see a cow, I mean, that makes sense. Like if you were taking a math test and there was yeah. a cow sitting on your test. Yeah. <laughs> what the? <laughs> They're so strange. <laughs> Get the girlfriend. Everyone else at the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> at the funeral too. <laughs> so strange. You know I mean? It tells you what I mean. It's so weird. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> They're so fucking bizarre. This is insane. So this yeah, is the challenge. Right, this is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Search for this meme does yeah. not exist if you're in the if you're our viewers and you want to look this up. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's that, endless hours of joy. This is so funny. This is hilarious. <laughs> All right, let's do a last like three. What, which ones do you guys want? Can we get the Futurama on? one? Yeah, let's get the Futurama one. Country show or a month of social life? <laughs> 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 like that again. Let's see if we get. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh. Uh, but to me, that means it's a it's a more difficult sense of humor for oh. that type of meme. <laughs> can I can I see the one with the SpongeBob at the bottom right? Uh, no, students oh, meet oh, my the other friends. One. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? No, it doesn't happen. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last last one. I want to stop it. Give me, yeah, pick a last one. So Martin with a girl. Oh my god! Let me get Pokemon. The uh, oh, uh, this one right here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Little uh, psycho analytical. When the potato famine starts. <laughs> oh, okay. right, final one. I'll close this up. In front of the burning house. Which one? It's next to the Shiba Inu, the dog, uh, in the middle. Yeah, above uh, Tom. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the creepiest like, shit. That's so fucking creepy. The ones right, are so I... funny are the ones that are like almost there. <laughs> 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 I 
makes sense. That's scary. Dude, that, that, that potato famine one fucking killed me. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to get out. I, I'm going to get out. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here. No, oh, yeah, oh, it's just potato famine. Just... Potato famine Makes... yeah, they're gonna... I so they're oh, so stupid. Shit. If you're stoned, I feel like you. Can I already got a lot of potatoes, hours. guys. I got a bounce. Dude, us as priests, <laughs> we did an Irish, we did an Irish accent. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's like man. a lot of there's a lot of undertones here. I don't want to say it's haunted, but yeah, it might be on the program now. We're in a simulation. This is proof of that. Yep, this is all proof. This is I'm all proof. I'm like eighty percent on board with simulation theory. It sounds basically right to me. Let's get into it right now. I think that <laughs> if, if there is a system that's holding us, right, that's making us, they gotta have some kind of server room. And yeah, I get it. They're, if we're all plugged into the same thing, it's it's like IBM when they had that thing loaded up into a truck. You know what I mean? That was a modem, right? Mm. And now it's like. Yeah. <clears throat> So you're going to tell me that everything can't be liquid? What? No if you ever... Absolutely if you, no one is making ever, that for sure. Ever come up to me and tell me there's no way modems can be liquid. I'm going to pop you in the goddamn <laughs> fucking head. You hear me? The idea that we can't think of that or hasn't been thought of, you dumb piece of shit. This is science. <laughs> science is coming for you, baby. My main goal doing comedy in my life is to eventually get to a point where I can get someone to diagnose whatever disorder Joey has. <laughs> I can just get them to study him for like a couple months and just get it on paper. I'll tell you what, out. if you get any scientist or doctor to come study me, by the time they get finished, they're going to walk away with a black belt. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Cause I train <laughs> people. The random meme generator. Yeah. 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 You are. You're that, that's, You're that, that, with that, a black belt. That whole meme generator was, was a Joey Greer vibe, yeah. for sure. That's his disorder. <laughs> I know. He's just a random meme generator. I'm a product of my times, baby. <laughs> That's another one. Let's jump to this last segment here, you guys. Uh, this is a blast. You're, uh, this next segment is called Puff Puff Podcast. Uh oh. Is it not playing shit? I heard a door open. I think it's in Joey's home. Stop, 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 stop. Never mind. It's just a locker room. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, 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 sorry, I'm having technical difficulties. Oh, you know, no if, I can, if, I, if I can say something now that we're taking on the side of the road for here for a second, and uh, we all are just kind of, we're thinking to ourselves, hey, you know what? Let's take a break. We've been driving for a while, <laughs> right? We've got 18 more hours, so we hit Nashville. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you want to get those sandwiches during the trunk of the car. Why not pop it open? You made bologna and mayonnaise. Thing open. Take DJ look. Blue Dream, you got that sound effect? Yep. Podcast. So, Puff Puff Podcast is basically you guys are going to be. Um, giving us some samples of some podcasts. We'll be giving you the titles of the podcasts that are coming up and you're going to give us like little one minute, one minute samples of the different episodes of that podcast. Does right. that make sense? Yeah. Yes, it does. Um, awesome. So as you guys know, uh, here on I'm Too Effing High, DJ Blue Dream and I really like to showcase other podcasts. Um, you know, we, we, we don't like to uh, hoard all of the millions of followers that we have just for ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's Thank right. You. We like to uh, showcase and sample some of our favorite stuff uh, we've listened to this month. And uh, we have a recording of, of three little clips, uh, just short clips from these podcasts uh, that we'd like yeah. to show our viewers so they can decide if they want to listen in. That's right. Let's uh -oh. first podcast dj blue dream i thought was really interesting you know mm -hmm. um it uh specifically um you know this is a uh i would say a a podcast of personalities is how i would describe it absolutely um, you know i love those podcasts where you just you you listen in and and that person's personality is just them talking about uh how they're seeing the world and that's what this is um let's take a listen to the podcast the Sticky Brothers Experience. Well, that's what... 
Guys, welcome back to Sticky Brothers Podcast. Hey, hey, do not just you know, start thing... Hey, do not just start it. We are having an argument. We are having the argument right <laughs> off the top. All right? But let's get to if, it. If the Little Leaguers don't want to wear the pads, then they don't got to wear them. Welcome right. to the podcast. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, and that's the, that's the whole length of the episode. <laughs> It's a yeah, pretty it's really interesting. Yeah, it's a really intense argument that was quickly diffused. The uh, podcast yeah. started and then just ended as fast. I just thought it was like a beautiful kind of metaphor for the times we're living in right now. Yeah, <laughs> it's interesting too, and I know that was just a, a, a short sample, and it's it's uh, but it was a whole episode. But uh, we do have a let's give them a taste of uh, episode two here, just so that they can kind yeah. of get a better feel for the for the show let me this is play that the sticky brothers experience episode two i'm bleeding man i'm bleeding man (laughs) i'm bleeding man i'm bleeding man i'm getting cold man i'm getting cold man i'm getting cold listen to me steven i want you to know i don't want to ride a horse so an even Uh, shorter episode than episode one that's right um that's right and and so the next uh so those are the first two episodes the next episode is 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 a six hour episode uh that takes place in the jail cell um you know and and uh you gotta yeah i'm not gonna spoil it for you you, you gotta uh hear it for yourself but it's very good um dj blue dream what was uh what was another podcast you really loved this week i had a blast listening to um that 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 you know really wonderful kind of it was almost like a collaborative podcast i would call it it, it, it really defies categorization it was called the, the brotherhood of the traveling cargo shorts um they really touched on yeah. some interesting themes and stuff every week let's take a listen yeah. no go ahead let's hear them out no i was just like if you really think about where the cargo shorts were at first if you really think about where were they at first then you can really start thinking about where are they going to get now? Because we only have two legs. And if we think that I'm going to be able to hoard those shorts, pants, anything that's cargoed, you're wrong. So for the next six weeks, me and my... <laughs> when I first put on the cargo shorts, I remember saying to my wife, look, things are going to get good now. Life's going to get good. But it wasn't that simple. This was Henry Shoundshoulder. He was the founder of Cargo (laughs) Shorts Unlimited. And he was the guy I had to talk to before I could even set foot in the cargo world. Yeah, man, it's great to talk to you. Uh, It's really cool to meet a high school kid who's as ambitious as you are. So you want to come inside the store? It was an old store, something you'd see in a magic book made of magic. No bricks, no wood, no stone. It was all water, because in the future, all modems are made of water. Yeah. And that's a fact. Look, if you, if you want to walk down the water aisle or if you want to swim up the stone aisle, you let me know, man, and I will go with you. Hey, we're running out of cargo shorts back here. That was Miranda. I would learned a lot from her, from sewing to needlepoint to knowing how to take in always. Come here, let me measure your legs. Oh, there we go. I'm coming a little close, am I? And let me go around the back side. Miranda tried to have sex with me. I declined. <laughs> and because I didn't want to. And that's to. where we have to leave this episode, right? With that cliffhanger there. Um, and it's a Comes really, around later. really, it's a really deep dive into really, uh, a story about sexual harassment and uh so you've got to give it um (laughs) you have to give give the whole season a listen yeah you have to yeah um this final one dj blue dream i thought was really informative you know and Mm -hmm. and i thought npr did it again uh the same the same network that's brought you uh you know so many wonderful podcasts in the past radio lab um and uh, this american, this american life. life yeah, yeah. um brought a new documentary historical style do- uh podcast simply called bro history let's give a listen <laughs> Now, 
Yeah, no. I mean, back then, if you if you gave me any kind of clear piping, I would shotgun a beer out of it. And uh, that's just my life. <laughs> Could this be true? Could a friend of mine, a colleague from work, also have problems with drinking? I decided to investigate a little bit deeper. So I went to talk to his mom. Yeah, so, you know, it's just one of those things where it's like, it's easy. It's easy because it's, first off, I can open any bottle with my teeth. Any bottle. Oh, well, yeah, I totally understand that. And, you know, why don't you just try to open one right now? Do it. Oh, wow, yeah, no, you go ahead. I can't do No, it. you go ahead, bro. No, I'm just a dork. <laughs> no, bro, do it, bro. He went on insisting that I do this for almost two hours. At the end, I finally <laughs> did it. Okay, all right, all right, let me just get a... Oh, no! Oh, no! I mean, if you want to replace these teeth, it's going to cost you, I don't know, $4 million. That was what the first dentist said. That was when I decided I was going to get a second opinion. I don't know. I mean, if you're looking at these teeth to be fixed, maybe something around 4 or $5 million. Okay. And that was what the second opinion said. So I decided to go see a friend of my family's, George, the dentist. He lives in the woods. Yeah, man, I can get that done for you, but uh, I'm going to need something in return. I had to guess what he was going to say. A certain number. I'm going to need uh, I'm gonna need a whole bunch of cutout numbers, all right? I'm going to need a whole bunch of cut. I discovered that my family's friend, he was lost. He had become a crazed person who understood nothing of currency, of value, and the value of his own time. So that's when I became his new roommate. And we yeah, man. Look, man, that's your side of the goddamn room. All right. That's your side. All right. Oh, now, I made this. Look, look, you want a bed out of hair? Well, then use your own fucking hair. That's my hair. OK, that's my fucking hair. Uh, that's Puff Puff Podcast. Oh, man. <laughs> guys, what a blast. What a blast. That was so fun. How are you feeling? Are you guys are you guys still feeling pretty high? Still feeling pretty stung? I'm getting pretty cotton mouth. Um, yeah, I'm experiencing yeah. that as well. I but was great. Also sort of, uh, subconsciously going through what I could make for dinner. Oh, dude, I got I'm gonna make nice. turkey sausage pasta. Yeah, mm. I got some jackfruit. I'm gonna fucking cook that shit up. I'm gonna make some rice. Put that jackfruit on top. Are you kidding me? Okay, nice. That sounds good. That sounds good. I think I'm going to order some Thai. Oh, Ooh, uh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Move. yeah. <laughs> um, I was also thinking about that earlier. Like, oh, maybe I'll get some Thai food. Yeah, yeah. Um, guys, this is so much fun. Thanks for coming back on the show. You, you, of course, uh, man. Thank um, you for having us. Yeah. Okay. Getting high, doing comedic challenges. Um, what, uh, where can, where can people find you? What do you want to, what, what are you able to plug, uh, online, any, any shows or anything like that? Joey? Yeah. Uh, every Wednesday do a improv live stream at Westside Comedy Theater's Twitch channel. It's twitch.tv, uh, forward slash, I think Westside Comedy Theater. Uh, you could check out Bruce Brothers on Netflix. Mikey's on that shit. It's fucking funny as hell. And, uh, nice. check out, uh, my comedy album. It's called Good Night. You can oh, get yeah. it. I was gonna play the album as well. It's so funny. Thank you, dude. Awesome. Thank you, dude. And yeah, dope. Bruce Brothers on Netflix. Check that shit out. <clears throat> yeah, congrats. Hell yeah, that's great. Check out Bruce Brothers. Great. Um, Twitter, Instagram, anything like that, Mike? Oh, yeah, you want yeah to? Uh, Magic Mike Castle on Twitter. And then I'm not good at Instagram, but I'm Mike Tassel on there. Nice. We, awesome. Um, we are also going to do, for our viewers, a, a mailback episode soon where we'll just, I don't know, read your emails and do something with them. Um, send yeah. us emails to I'm too up and high at gmail.com. Um, I'm not sure That'll what... That'll be this Tuesday. Write. This Tuesday. This Tuesday. Just write whatever. Yeah. I don't know. Write, write anything. Honestly, I'm curious to see what you come up with. Yeah. It'll be like the meme Get generator. high and send us questions. Um... Guys, this is a blast. Thank you so much for uh, for doing this again. And uh, everybody watching, thank you. Check us out again. Tuesday, 6 p.m. is our next uh, live stream here. I'm 2 com, And, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, now that the potato famine has hit, I'm going to head out. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to head out. It's almost 10 p.m. Right, I'm going to head out. Yeah. Peace. Stay 2 and high, you guys. Bye.